On March 4, 2023, in Moscow, a lecture was held by mathematician, forecaster, and brilliant scientist Siddiq Afghan. He not only talked about the near future, but also proved with mathematical calculations why it will be just that way. He was a little late for his lecture and said that he had a meeting with Putin. Siddiq Afghan is a very famous and respected person. He is very religious and starts all his affairs in the name of God, so in this case, it is impossible to accuse him of lying, as there is no greater sin for him than falsehood. So, what kind of future awaits us, according to the predictions of Siddiq Afghan? Mission, to save humanity. The great mathematician believes that his mission in this life is to save humanity. He regrets that scientists all over the world are so divided. If they united, then it would be science that would govern the world, not politicians. Siddiq Afghan claims that mathematics is the queen of all sciences. 100 years ago, physics and chemistry were completely different, but mathematics remains unchanged. There is a well-known thesis that randomness is an unexplored regularity. Siddiq Afghan explained how he came to his method of calculating a person's series of events. When he was studying in Russia, he often went to the cemetery to check a person's fate based on their date of birth and death. The scientist honed his methodology for more than 50 years, although he began using it as far back as the late 80s. At that time, he predicted many tragic events for our country, the collapse of the USSR, coups, chaos, and in 1990, he predicted the military conflict that is currently ongoing. Everything in this life is subject to God. Currently, according to the scientist, a new era has begun where society must undergo a complete transformation, living in harmony and peace. Siddi Afghan said that the Bible and the Quran were not written by man, but are divine books, and everything in our world is subject to God. The world lives according to his laws, according to the laws of his harmony, which a mathematician was able to recognize in the form of numerical series. At present, there is a war going on between black and white, between the enemy of humanity and God. Siddi Afghan presented many maps, calculations, universe maps, and with the help of mathematics, he proved the existence of God. Based on his methodology, the scientist confidently states that the harmful disease that struck half the world in 2020 was artificially created. Many climatic catastrophes, especially those that have occurred recently, also have an unnatural origin. The mathematician provided calculations and showed cycles of changes that occur in the human body. He said that all people live on a schedule, and everything can be calculated absolutely. Everyone occupies their place in space and time, and a person's fate is determined by the universe. At the end of life, God puts everything in its place, and throughout life, He warns of important events, but few pay attention to these signs. Predictions of the Mathematician City Afghan said that America is a poor country, where everyone lives in debt, and it is essentially a bankrupt state. But the strongest country is Afghanistan, even the Americans fear it, which is why they shamefully fled from there. Regarding Russia, the scientist said this your country sells oil and gas, but in five years, none of this will remain. The scientist is very impulsive, he speaks quickly and often jumps from one topic to another, so it is difficult to understand what he meant here, whether our resources will run out, or sales will come to naught. Perhaps there will be a completely different type of energy, because everything that was hidden will soon become available. The time for this has already come. According to the scientist, the most just country in the world was the Soviet Union and such an empire could only be destroyed through the heart of a person, that is, by capturing the hearts of people. As for the neighboring country with which Russia is in a hot phase of conflict, City Afghan unfolded a map of this state and showed many calculations. Development is proceeding in 40-year cycles. The last one ends in 2025. This territory will be divided into three parts, southeastern, central, and western. The last two parts are completely cut off from the sea. And according to City Afghan, there will be no more military actions on these territories until 2065, everything will end in 2025 and a peaceful and calm life will begin. What do you think about this?